back in the 70s, there was this huge ignorance about even basic things about what people died from. How do you get from here to somewhere where people's health is better unless you know what people's problems are now? You just can't act to improve people's health if you don't know what you need to act on. I had the opportunity to create something to try to answer that question. We have a website for the global burden of disease. So you come to the site, there's a square pie chart and the size of each box is how big are different problems. You can look at the big picture or you can dive in and say, I'm interested in diarrhea or I'm interested in HIV or homicide and find how it's distributed in the world, what age groups it affects, how it's changing, is it going up or is it going down in different parts of the world. If you're Kenya, you may want to compare yourself to Tanzania and to Uganda. They start to compare and say, gosh, they're doing a better job on HIV or they're doing a better job on maternal mortality. That's very powerful because it says somebody else has been able to make progress and then that motivates a lot of action. Our goal is to capture all the information on health in the world and analyze it and deliver it to everybody so that they can end up making decisions that improve people's health.